This is Tom, and he's a property owner in Beaufort, North Carolina. Last year, he volunteered with the North Carolina Coastal Federation to plant marsh grass at one of our project sites. During the planting, he met Dr. Alexia Weaver, who's a coastal scientist at the Coastal Federation's central office, and he told her about an issue he was facing on his property. Uh, I said, I've got something going on at our property, and the big problem is erosion. And we said, uh, is there some way we could possibly do something about that? And uh, we put out a few bags to show the neighbors what it might look like. And after they saw it, they said, hey, can we get in? get into the project and it went from a, a minor one person project to a major three person, three property owner project. I'm Lexia Weaver with the North Carolina Coastal Federation and we've been working with private landowners, waterfront property owners to install living shorelines on their properties. Living shorelines are a more natural approach to uh, helping with erosion when compared to bulkheads or seawalls or riprap. Um, as you can see behind me, uh, we've built a 300 linear foot oyster shell bag sill. So we made the sill out of recycled oyster shells. And what the sill does is that it helps to slow down wave energy. Um, we're here at the Newport River and just across from us there is a channel um, and you can see there's, there's actually a boat going by right now so that wave energy comes in and causes erosion of the shoreline. And then we've also planted marsh grasses. And at the same time that we're reducing erosion, we're also helping to protect um, estuarine habitat and providing a, a habitat for fish and crabs and oysters as well. After Hurricane Florence, we decided that we needed to check on Tom and make sure that he and his property were okay. And just as importantly, we wanted to see how his living shoreline held up against the storm. Well, when we heard 150 miles an hour and 140 coming through here, um, the same, we took off for inland for about a week, came back and uh, was surprised to see it still here and basically undisturbed knowing how much wave action there was through here. The next dock down off like probably 25, 30 boards with the water pounding up underneath that. So there's a, there was a lot of wave action. We've only lost a few. That's the whole idea for me, is take the power out of the water. And then if you have a, a situation of erosion or severe erosion like we do, and if you can get other neighbors to help you, nothing compared to what the group has done down the coastal, coastal fence. So thank you for the project. I think it's, it's a good, solid environmental project.